This is more like a PSA. It is okay to love your child without them doing something sports related that you wanted them to do. Or better yet, any related of what you wanted them to do. Stay tuned. My name is Cyrus Asar, and my mission is to embody the emotion of overcoming. I believe we all fight battles we hide from the world. My objective is to help you win those battles through perspective. Stay tuned. I'm here to say it's okay to love your child if they don't want to play the sport you want them to play. I see this happen so much that it upsets me where this guy been playing football his whole life. Therefore, he want his kids to play football. Then they get one that play. Then he shows them a tremendous amount of love. And then the one that doesn't play, he acts like they don't exist. I'm saying this. Sports is a tool for bonding. That's not the only way of showing love. It's a tool for bonding. Everything is tools for coming together, playing games, playing sports, whatever it is, having your own business. And at times your child does not want to follow in your footsteps. Sorry, it's okay. You know, when you had your child, it was two personalities that created this. It was your wife and yourself or your girlfriend and yourself or you get what I'm saying. Either side that you want. Or you and your, you know, boyfriend. There's two personalities that create this. And this person going to develop its own personality. Your child will have its own personality. So because he does not want to partake in the things that you partake in. Does not mean that you need to love him less. And I see this and it just saddens me because. This guy will be at every football game. And then we'll skip a recital for his daughter because he can't. I don't, I mean, that's just too soft. I don't want to be out there. And I'm like, you don't have to be like that. Or we see dads that come into a life when their son start playing sports well. Or we see all these, all these things where you can get shunned out the house because you don't want to do the work that your father or mother did. Oh, you don't want to participate in our business? Okay, then you got to go. It's like, what? Why, why is that the stipulations? Why is it just, I got to do exactly this or I got to leave? Can I, if I'm not harming nobody and I'm figuring my life out and I'm trying to do better, can I get some space to do that? Can I explore myself? Maybe you all right. Maybe I should be doing exactly what you're doing, but let me explore. Let me figure something out. Let me make some mistakes. Let me come back around to it. Let me have a life. That's all we ask. So don't be that parent that feel like, all right, if you don't want to listen, all right, then, you know, you just crash and burn. That's not the way to go about it. We still want some help. We still want some guidance. We still want some love. But it doesn't mean you're not playing the sport. All right, then I'm not supporting you. You're not doing this. All right, then you just do that on your own. And I just see this happen so often that it saddens me because I get an email or whatnot from somebody or a kid reach out or one of you guys will reach out in my inbox on social media. And it'd be like, well, my dad loves his son more than he loves me because I don't play the sport that he's playing and he gets all the attention. And I was like, man, this is just crazy. I'm like, people don't realize it. Also, you have to, you know, look at it both sides, too, because sometimes that sport does require your dad to give him more time that season, but he can still spend time to with you. The point that I'm making is do not be that person that says either you're going to do this or I'm going to allow you to crash and burn. You're going to do as I tell you to do. You're going to follow in my footsteps. You're going to play this sport. You're going to get this job. You're going to do this or you're going to crash and burn. And if you raise your child that way, oftentimes it's going to come with a lot of resentment. Because if you are somebody that's listening as a child or you, you somebody that's younger and you have parents like that, look at how you feel about them right now. You're like, man, I'm cool. I can't wait till I get 18. I am gone. And then the other way it happens too, where it'd be like, man, I am done with them. So I just don't want that to be you. You know what I'm saying? 
Thank you for taking out the time to watch this video. Please like, share, subscribe if you want to get my shirt. You can get it in the description box below. And if you want to follow me on social media or reach out to me with a question, you can also do that in the description box below. Thank you.